welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, we're in October already. I cannot believe it. September's just gone like that. Um, so when I was picking up my products for this video, I was like, what, 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 like, what did I love this month? Because I feel like I was kind of still in August a little bit. So I don't have a lot of products to show you in this video, but they are all new bits that I am obsessed with. So let's get started. The first things first, I'll start with skincare. So you guys know I'm obsessed with skincare and I absolutely love face masks. I have so many different ones to choose from on a regular basis. If you guys haven't seen my um, skincare routine, I will leave it down below in the description box for you but that was a long time ago so I am planning on doing an updated one so just bear with me I'm just trying to make sure that I'm super happy with my skincare routine before I share it with you all in the meantime um like I said I have loads of face masks that I go between and one of them that I grabbed in in no in September not August and um, see I've, I'm completely in the wrong month it was this 10 minute out of trouble 10 minute mask to rescue problem skin. And yeah, normally when I put face mask on, I usually leave them on for longer than the recommended time just because I really want it to work its magic. But with this, I feel like 10 minutes really is enough and I only leave it on for 10 minutes. So it's super nice and super quick for those evenings where yeah, you just wanna hurry up and get into bed real fast. So I pop this on and you can really feel it working onto your skin straight away. It kind of gives your skin that like tingly feeling but not in a stinging way not in a way that it hurts or it's irritating or anything like that so don't get me wrong when I say that it just you can just feel it's kind of like waking up your skin and it's kind of working its magic and it's going deep in there and it's rescuing the problems on your skin so um it has got things like zinc oxide sulfur um salicylic acid it basically refines rough texture and pulls the plug on troublemakers to oust potential outbursts so if you've got some blackheads or some spots that you feel may be coming up um if you pop this on it's kind of just going to tell them to relax sit back down and not come out. So it really does kind of sort your skin out and it's a quick fix and your skin feels so good and so clean and fresh after you've used this. I absolutely love it. So yeah, if you're on the market for a new face mask, definitely give this one a go. Keeping on the topic of skincare, I have a new eye cream. Now, I don't really use eye creams that much. Like, I just find that my skincare routine can be quite long. And then, I know this is silly, but adding an eye cream to it is just like, oh, another step, another product. But now as I'm getting older, I find that an eye cream is so important. And yeah, I'm really, really trying my hardest to keep it in my skincare routine. So I'm using the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. It definitely is keeping my under eye area nice and hydrated. It's not feeling so dry and texturized anymore. I just wanted to add a bit more of like a youthful, fresh under eye, especially since I put a lot of concealer there and under eye setting powder and stuff like that. You want it to be smooth. So this is really helping me achieve that. And yeah, I'm enjoying using this. Next up, I have a primer that I've been loving and it's the NYX or NYX um, Angel Veil Primer. I think if you've got oily skin, this is going to be amazing for you. I have combination skin so it's like oily in the t-zone and kind of like dry-ish or normal in other places. Um, sometimes I'm oily, sometimes I'm not but yeah. Um, so yeah the days where I feel like I am a little bit oily or the days where I feel like okay I need my makeup to last all day, I'm not touching it whatsoever, then I do pop this on. And another thing is that it's affordable and yeah, it's just fantastic. It kind of reminds me of Benefits Professional, but obviously a lot cheaper. Um, I like to just pat this into the skin. It kind of just makes my skin look really nice and smooth. And then my foundation and everything else just applies on top of it so smoothly and flawlessly. It's just a really, really nice base for you to work with. Finally, my next favorite is a new highlighter, of course, because it wouldn't be a favorites video without one, but it is the new Sleek Highlighting Palette, and this is their Cleopatra's Kiss Palette. So they bought this out for their Halloween Hotspot collection, and oh my God, this is to die for. So I will have a tutorial coming out real soon um, using this, so just wait for it and check it out. This is the most perfect highlighting palette 
ever. So you've got two cream products and two powder products in there. And if you've got like a warmer or deeper skin tone, then this is gonna be fantastic for you. I know that Sleek have got two other highlighting palettes also, which are just as gorgeous, but I think this one has blown the other two out of the water. I definitely have been reaching for this far more than the others. I really, really like using this like warm gold one on the tops of my cheekbones. And then just to make it pop that slight bit more, I'll just go over it with this powder one. And the creams are also such good quality. Normally I powder my face and then put my highlighter on. So I'm like, mm, I can't really put a cream on top of powder. But with these creams, they don't separate the powder that you've put onto your skin already. So you can totally use the cream and then go in with the powder highlight if you want to as well to really bring out that highlight. So this is just a good and once again, affordable product. <laughs> One more thing before I leave you guys, if you're following me on Snapchat, you'll already know this, but I am doing Vlogtober this month. So first of all, follow me on Snapchat so you get to know everything. And second of all, it's gonna be a bit like my everyday May vlog. If you didn't see that, I'll link it down below, go and watch it. And um, But yeah, I'm gonna try and vlog every day for you, every time I'm doing something interesting, um, I will vlog it for you guys. And this time I'm going to be doing it in like weekly vlogs. So you're gonna get a vlog every single week from me for the rest of this month. So I hope you're excited about it. I hope you are looking forward to it. I hope you enjoy it. And I also hope you enjoy this video. If you've got any favorites that you think I'm gonna love, please do leave them down below in the comment section for me to check out. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye.